Have you ever felt misunderstood because you prefer quiet evenings over lively parties? Or have you wondered why some social gatherings drain you more than others? Let's dive into the world of introversion and explore. Why stick to stereotypes when we can explore what being an introvert truly means for you? When you hear introvert, you might picture a shy person at a party or the quiet kid in class. But introversion is much more complex and varied than these stereotypes suggest. Did you know that there are actually several types of introverts? That's right. Introversion is a spectrum, encompassing a range of personalities, each with its unique traits and preferences. This insight comes from groundbreaking research by a psychology professor at Wellesley College who identified four distinct types of introverts. First up, we have the social introvert. This type might sound contradictory. How can someone be social and an introvert? Well, Social introverts enjoy spending time with people, but prefer small groups and intimate settings. They aren't shy. Instead, they simply feel drained if social interactions last too long. Social introverts value deep connections with a few close friends, and in those circles, they might even come off as extroverts. Next, meet the thinking introvert. This type is the daydreamer, often getting lost in their own thoughts and ideas. Thinking introverts might not seek out social interactions simply because their inner world is so vivid and consuming. They are highly introspective, which makes them more in tune with their feelings, but can also make them seem aloof or detached to others. The third type is the anxious introvert. These individuals often feel uneasy in social situations, not just during but also long after them, replaying conversations and actions in their mind, wondering what they could have done differently. It's crucial to differentiate this from social anxiety disorder, which is a more severe condition that can disrupt daily functioning and requires professional help. Finally, we have the restrained introvert, who typically takes a while to warm up in social situations. They are not impulsive and prefer to think things through thoroughly before acting. Restrained introverts love their routines and feel best when they can plan their social activities well in advance. If none of these types seem to fit, you might be an ambivert, someone who exhibits qualities of both introverts and extroverts, depending on the context. Understanding your introvert type can significantly enhance how you manage relationships and communicate your needs to others. For instance, if you identify as a social introvert, recognizing your need for downtime after social events can help you plan better and communicate these needs to friends. Similarly, if you're a thinking introvert, you might explain your tendency to reflect deeply before responding, helping others understand your interaction style. This awareness can lead to more fulfilling and understanding relationships. So, do any of these types sound like you? Or perhaps you recognize these traits in someone you know? Understanding these distinctions can help us all appreciate the unique ways people recharge and interact with the world. If you found this exploration into the types of introverts insightful, share it with someone who might also benefit from this understanding. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content that helps you navigate the fascinating complexities of dating, relationships, and personal growth. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video, where we'll explore practical tips for each type of introvert to maximize their personal and social potential.